Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade, if you haven't been here before. Um, just to say, like, it is a hot day. Like, my house is so hot because we've had quite a few hot days um, in the UK. Um, it's just, it's just kind of holding the heat in. So, if you notice me, like, melting, that is probably why. Okay, so today I am going to bring you a collective haul because I've got a few pieces from a few different places that I just wanted to share with you because a few of the pieces I absolutely love. Um, those of you that have been following me a while know that I have probably had quite a few insecurities about my body. I used to be a size 8 um, when I had my old channel and then I kind of stopped and now I'm a size 12 and I really struggled finding things that suit me but I'm really starting to like embrace my body shape so yeah I'm just really excited to show you what I have got this time. Okay let's kick it off with H&M because I know a lot of people do shop in there and really enjoy their products. I do find often their sizing is a little bit weird so sometimes it puts me off shopping there but I got a few nice little bits I want to show you um, more on the accessories side but but um, yeah, let me start off with, I got this beautiful hairband. Um, it's in this really baby pink color. Now, I'm not really sure hairbands really suit me, but I just, I don't know why. I just really wanted one. And it was only $3.99. Um, I would show you this on, but A, I just feel sweaty and horrible, so I don't really want to put anything on my head right now. And then I'd have to go and find and cut the tag off, etc. But I do really like it. It's just sort of like a satin feel, I think. It was a really good buy. So the other accessory I got was a necklace. Now I have been trying to like buy less cheap jewelry and sort of upgrade and have a lot less of better quality. And obviously this is not that, but I just really liked it. And it was only $6.99, which I thought was really good. And it's a double necklace. So you've got this just like faux gold chain and then this other bit that layers, which just has this um, little sort of circle at the bottom with sort of like lines coming out. There's a lot of nexus around like it. Let me show you a bit closer, see if you can see it better. Hopefully that's in focus. I know sometimes my camera gets confused what it should focus on. Um, but yeah, another good buy. Okay, so the next thing I got in H&M was a top, which is actually my final item from H&M. Um, this was a bit different for me, but I really wanted to try it and I quite liked it when I tried it on. And it is this top, which has sort of like a high neck. It's like a halter neck with a high neck. Um, it's white and it's just sort of flong and flowy. I just thought it was really, really pretty. Um, a little bit different for me because I do, or at least I did mainly have dark colours in my wardrobe. So I've been trying to change it up a little bit. If you've been following me for some time, you'll probably notice that. Um, but yeah, I just... I just really liked it, so let me go and show you this on. And this top was only $17.99, which I thought was really good for something like this. It looks a lot more expensive, I think. Okay, and this is the top on. So it is quite long, as you can see, but I just love the collar. There's something about high necks that I really, really like. I just feel like they're a lot more flattering for me around here. Um, I don't know why, I just like them. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice material. It is a little bit sheer, but it's white, and it's from H&M like you kind of have to expect it but it's not so bad that with a nude bra I wouldn't wear it so that's what I really like about it um I'd probably wear it tucked in not gonna lie um let me see this in the mirror yeah I mean definitely if I was gonna wear it something like these shorts I would wear it tucked in I think with like you could get away with it with like leggings or something I think um but yeah I think I would wear it in tucked in with this but yeah I really really like it Okay, moving to Mango now. Um, I never really ever seem to go to Mango, um, mainly because I don't have one that close to me, but I actually went on a bit of a longer shopping trip to Cambridge. And uh, yeah, I popped in Mango. There was quite a few nice things. I tried a lot on, but a lot just didn't fit right. But I did come away with one item, which I absolutely adore. And that is this cardigan. I just think it is stunning. It is in this sort of like, creamy beige colour and it has just these little brown buttons. I mean it has got like, it's is that kind of like knitted thing with holes in, um, so it's not going to be the most practical but I don't know why there was something about it I absolutely loved and I could feel it was really good quality and um, it was $35.99 so a little pricey maybe for a cardigan but I don't know there was something about it that I loved so I'll show you it on. 
just for the purposes of showing you the cardigan. It's a really nice fit, it has a lot of stretch in it, and it's just, I just love it. I don't know why, I just, there's something about the way it's made that makes it feel more expensive. And I mean, it kind of is a little bit, especially for high street, but yeah, I just love it. Even though we're like super far in the video, I just want to say if you've noticed how bad my nails look right now, please ignore that. Um, they're getting very, very chipped at work, so I just can't be bothered to keep painting them again and again. Um, but yeah, that's just a little side note. Okay, so the next thing I got is something else that, you know, I was kind of in need of, which is a pair of sandals, but that are actually comfortable. So I just happened to go in Deichmann, I think that's how you say it, Deichmann, Deichmann, I think it's Deichmann, um, the shoe shop, and they do a lot of sort of like cheaper, off-branded stuff. They do carry a few brands, I think, um, but... If you've never been in one, it's always worth just looking what they have. Now, I picked up some sandals. I don't adore them, but for the price, and they just felt like they would be so comfortable. So let me show you. Okay, these are the sandals. So they're just this sort of like sw brown suede material, which has a lot of cushioning, um, which I really like. But it's these, they're like just brown with these um, little fake diamante things on them to make them shimmery. Um, they're not like the most attractive sexy sandals ever at all but I just thought they would be really really comfortable which is exactly what I needed especially if I want to like walk in sandals because I do a lot of walking so yeah I just thought these would be really useful and honestly they do feel so super comfortable and they were only $19.99 so not bad okay and then the final shop in my haul is Peacocks now Sometimes I go in there and I find cool little gems and other times I find nothing. Most of the time it is the nothing. However, this time I actually really liked some pieces in there. I think I could have easily spent a lot more money, but I kind of refrained and limited myself to the four items I did pick. Um, so let me start off with the first one. If you watched my Primark haul, you would have heard me comment that I have been looking for some lighter denim shorts, but I couldn't really find any that would fit me right anywhere, or generally I wasn't finding many at all. Well, I finally got some, and yes, they are from Peacocks. They are sort of like a nice length without being too long. They have like the little fringe at the bottom and a couple of like distressed patterns. Um, I got them in a size 12. Peacocks are a little bit more generous in sizing, but that just made them super comfy. Like they're not big that they're gonna fall off, but they definitely aren't tight, which I really like. So let me show you these on. Um, but before I do, they were 18 pounds, which I thought was really reasonable for a pair of denim shorts. Okay, the second thing I got is just a basic. Um, and it's very similar to something I got in my new look haul and that is a eraser vest but this one is white because um, New Look didn't have any in white in stock when I went in there they only had the black and I just thought white would be good for a staple as well it was seven pounds so it's actually a little bit more money than the one in New Look but I would say it probably feels a little bit better quality um, so yeah just a basic I got it in a 10 because I do know that Peacocks generally run slightly like larger New Look is usually the other way, although in the racer I do wish I'd got the tire fit. Um, but yeah, let me show you this on as well. Okay, so here are the two items on. See, the shorts are just such a nice fit. They are high-waisted, as I like, um, and fit super, super well. Like, they're not tight, but they're definitely, like, the size smaller would definitely be too small. Like, they fit well. Um, I really like the length of them because they're not too short, but they're also not that weird. Like, I hate it if they come, like, anywhere near my knee. I just find that length so so strange um, but yeah and then obviously this is the racer top it fits much better than the new look one I did size down this is a size 10 my new look one was a 12 but as I said like Peacocks generally is more generous in sizes and um, new look I'd say is the other way um, the only thing I've noticed like my <laughs> bra does not sit well without the straps um, has anyone got any recommendations for a good strapless bra? I haven't really worn anything that you would require one um, since I did gain a weight because I used to be a B cup and now I'm a double D and I just don't know what to do. So if anyone has any tips, please give them to me. Okay, the next top is a little bit more like dressed 
for like dressed up occasions or just when you want to look a bit nicer um, and that is this halter neck top I just love the print like the black with the gold threads running through and the bits of white I, I don't know there was something about it it's again it's a high neck halter it's very similar to the H&M top but obviously a very very different pattern and it just looks like way more expensive than it is it was 18 pounds which i thought was really good um so yeah let me go and show you this one on okay so this is the top i just love it um i will say it sits like the material does a sponge a little bit at the top um but i think honestly i just need smaller boobs for this top but it looks okay like I, i'm still gonna wear it because i absolutely adore it i did size down to a 12 and maybe i shouldn't have done but unfortunately i think it would have been way too baggy around this area if I had have gone for my normal size and you know maybe like when I lose weight I'm sure the boobs are gonna go with it because they used to be a lot smaller so yeah that's just kind of what I did but I do absolutely adore it I think it looks a lot more expensive than it is um, obviously I would not wear it with these shorts but this is just to show you the top and I love it okay and the final item do not laugh at it but it is a dress and it's like the dress of the top I just showed you. Now I couldn't decide which I wanted because I thought I would get more use out of the top because you can sort of dress it down a little bit more. Um, it would be good like as you know when you do the jeans and a nice top look, which I definitely was in need of um, some nice tops. But there was something about the dress because I really like the pattern. So it's a maxi dress. Um, I have no idea where the hell I'm going to ever wear this. Um, but I tried it on and I just really, really liked it. And you know, the nicest thing, which is like the whole best thing about this haul in my opinion, is this story. When I took them to the till, I made a joke about how I couldn't decide between the top and the dress because, you know, I could tell her that the cashier was looking at me a bit weird. And she actually turned around she was like, I can just tell that dress will look amazing on you. You have an amazing figure. And honestly, that touched me so much, especially because I have been struggling with my body image a lot. Um, I've just started to feel comfortable in it, hence I'm like buying a dress and trying on things like that I never would usually. Like most of my wardrobe is just t-shirts and jeans, you know? So it's really, really nice. Like now that I'm feeling more comfortable that I actually got a comment like that. And I think it's made me realize like how much just someone's little comment can make your day. So just a little side note there, but yeah, try and make someone's day. Um, and before I show you this on, I will tell you it is £32. I got this in a size 10 um, because obviously I am trying to lose weight and I don't want this not to fit me in the future but also peacocks are a bit more generous and I did try it and it fit so um, yeah I just think it's gorgeous. A little bit more expensive for peacocks at £32 I will say but it feels really really nice quality and it looks much more expensive than it is. Okay, and this is the dress. I've aimed the camera a little bit more down, so hopefully you can see the bottom. I think you can just about in the viewfinder. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this dress version. I don't know why I don't really own anything like this at all. Like, I'm not usually brave enough of dresses right now, or not very often, and so I'm more like into my shorts and jeans, but I absolutely adore this, honestly. Don't know where I'm gonna wear it, as I said. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it is. Um, I just love, again, like the frill collar. I'm gonna come closer, just so you can see the dress a little bit more close up too. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. There is something about it that I really, really like. Um, it does sometimes sponge up again on the boobs a little bit like the top, but not as badly. It just depends how you have the dress sitting because it has an actual elasticated waist on the dress, which is why I think it like becomes generally more flattering than the top. But I had to get the top too because I just know I'd get more times and excuses to wear that than I would the dress. But I absolutely adore this pattern and think it is stunning. And they have quite a lot of long maxi dresses in Peacocks if you're looking for one. Okay, and that is everything that I have to share with you in this collective haul. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. I think I found some like real gems because they're not really like shops that I tend to buy like a lot in. So I wouldn't do like a full haul like I do for Primark and maybe New Look. But I just really wanted to share them with you because I think occasionally some of the shops, especially like Peacocks, um, they get forgotten about. I think they often get considered as like an old person shop, but you do find some really good gems in there and definitely some good basics. So I just wanted to share them. 
and I will see you again real soon guys. Bye!